one sense, it's a, it's, 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 a, it's a trivial question. It's like saying, is food good for you is, or is food bad for you? Uh, it depends how you do it. It depends on your diet. It depends how you do the analysis. Um, there's no going back. We're living in the era AG after Google, AF after Facebook. So you can't go back. The question is, how do you ration things and how do you optimize things? And I think that the, the panelists did an extraordinarily good job of talk, and the audience as well that I brought into the picture did a great job of saying what their worries were, saying what their fears were, but also saying what op they were optimistic about. We did, we did a, a, a tag cloud at the beginning, and it had words on it that were kind of like um, worried and so on and so forth. We did a tag cloud at the end of the session an hour and a half later, and the biggest word on there was enthusiasm. So there was a clear shift. My panelists had convinced people that um, you, you really need to embrace the technology. It's not to be feared. Um, if, 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 if you're talking about social isolation because of a social network and so on, um, you could easily say, make, the, make the argument that sitting alone with a book is socially isolating. So, you know, you just have to incorporate all these things and move forward. And, and, and the audience was very good on that. Well, I, I don't like turning points and tipping points. Um, I began the session by reminding people that the internet was derived from something that the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency did in the United States in the 60s. That's DARPA. And then in 1980, Tim Berners-Lee, now Sir, Sir Tim Berners-Lee, came up with the idea of doing a World Wide Web, which is based on the internet. It took him until 1990 to actually create uh, HTTP, HTML, web server, all these things that we now take for granted. That's 21 years old. It's a kid. And we're in the midst of it. And we think we've been there forever. So it, it's a flow. I, I, I don't like the idea of a, of a turning point. I just think we're in an evolution. That was a great point that came up in the, in the, in, in the, in the debate. Um, women, um, I, I did a, a, a conversation with Sheryl Sandberg, who's the COO of Facebook, and I asked her about this point exactly. And she pointed out that, that there were more women on Facebook than men, and that it was incredibly important for women in computer science to be involved. Uh, you, 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 you can't just uh, reduce the role of women to being um, aggravated, worried parents when the bedroom door is shut and the kid is in there on the internet. They have to know some science. So an increase in, an increase in the number of women in science, I think, would be an enormously important uh, role. I think it goes back to what I just said. I, I, I think we need, what I do on the Science Network is to try and, and, and um, showcase as many females in science as possible so that they become role models and have more women going to science. I think that's hugely important. I think that will change the landscape completely. And so that when we come back to the Women's Forum next year, I'm hoping that we'll have more, of a couple, uh, more sessions on things like male-female uh, brain differences, on women in science and those sorts of things, and, and let, let's, get, let's get them more involved. Okay, thank you.